The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. And I want to thank you for joining us for the service of morning prayer on Canada Day, the 1st of July, Wednesday. I'm going to take a few moments to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church ascending into heaven even when we can't physically gather for worship. And you can do the same along with me if that's what you've been doing throughout the pandemic. And when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page six in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works, Forty years long was I grieved with that generation and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, parts 19 to 22, beginning on page 494. I call with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. Yea, even unto thee do I call, O help me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. Early in the morning do I cry unto thee, for in thy word is my trust. Mine eyes forestall the night watches, that I might be occupied in thy words. Hear my voice, O Lord, according unto thy loving kindness. Quicken me according as thou art wont. They draw nigh that of malice persecute me, and are far from thy law. Thou art nigh at hand, O Lord, and all thy commandments are true. As concerning thy testimonies, I have known long since that thou hast grounded them forever. O consider mine adversity and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead thou my cause and redeem me, quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the ungodly, for they regard not thy statutes. Great is thy mercy, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. 
Many there are that trouble me and persecute me. Yet do I not swerve from thy testimonies. It grieveth me when I see the transgressors, because they keep not thy word. Consider, O Lord, how I love thy precepts. O quicken me according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is altogether true. All the judgments of thy righteousness endure forevermore. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I am as glad of thy word as one that findeth great spoil. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great is the peace that they have who love thy law, and nothing shall lead them astray. Lord, I have looked for thy saving help and done after thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies and loved them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall speak of thy praise, because thou teachest me thy statutes. Yea, my tongue shall sing of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteous. Let thy hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy saving health, O Lord, and in thy law is my delight. O let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. O seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book Numbers, the 22nd chapter, beginning at the 41st verse. And on the morrow, Balak took Balaam and brought him up to Bamoth Baal. And from there, he saw the nearest of the people. And Balaam said to Balak, Build for me here seven altars, and provide for me here seven bulls and seven rams. Balak did as Balaam had said, and Balak and Balaam offered on each altar a bull and a ram. And Balaam said to Balak, Stand beside your burnt offering, and I will go. Perhaps the Lord will come to meet me, and whatever he shows me, I will tell you. And he went to a bare height. And God met Balaam, and Balaam said to him, I have prepared the seven altars, and I have offered upon each altar a bull and a ram. And the Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return to Balak, and thus you shall speak. And he returned to him, and lo, he and all the princes of Moab were standing beside his burnt offering. And Balaam took up his discourse and said, From Aram, Balak has brought me, the king of Moab from the eastern mountains. Come, curse Jacob for me, and come, denounce Israel. How can I curse whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce whom God has not denounced? For from the top of the mountains I see him, from the hills I behold him. Lo, a people dwelling alone, and not reckoning itself among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, or number the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my end be like his. And Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? 
I took you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have done nothing but bless them. And he answered, Must I not take heed to speak what the Lord puts in my mouth? Here endeth the first lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the Te Deum on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true, and only son, also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the epistle of St. Paul to the Romans, the seventh chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. Did that which is good then bring death to me? By no means. It was sin working death in me through what is good, in order that sin might be shown to be sin and through the commandment might become sinful beyond measure. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. So then it is no longer I that do it, but sin which dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me, that is, in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. Now if I do that what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin which dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of my mind and making me captive to the law of sin which dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then I of myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. Here endeth the second lesson. The service of morning prayer continues with the, with the Benedictus on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, 
to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would grant us, that we being delivered out of the hands of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, who didst lead the fathers of our nation into this land of Canada, and hast increased us by thy favor, grant we beseech thee that we who now enter into their inheritance may prove ourselves a people mindful of thy mercies and ready to do thy will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, went about doing good and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. Continue, we beseech thee, this his gracious work among us, especially in those working to contain the spread of COVID-19. 
cheer, heal, and sanctify the sick. Grant to the physicians, surgeons, and nurses wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. And send down thy blessing upon all who labor to prevent suffering and to forward thy purposes of love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Protect and prosper, O Lord, all those who labor at tasks of danger and difficulty, especially all of our frontline workers, that they may be preserved in safety and health, and grant that knowing the dangers which beset them, they may ever take thought one for another and be sustained by a sure trust in thee. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers at this time for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them or the Spirit of God has put it into our hearts to pray for them. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thanks for joining us this morning. I hope that you'll also be able to join us tomorrow evening at 4.30 for the service of evening prayer. That's 4.30 in Newfoundland. That's when the video premieres. But of course, you can watch it at any point after that that's convenient for you. I hope that these services have been a blessing to you. And if so, I hope you'll take a few moments to like, to comment, to share, to subscribe to our YouTube channel to make it easier to find your way back here the next time we gather to pray. And until then, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.